What's up peeps? It's me again and I'm back for another video. This time we're going to take a closer look at another popular play to earn blockchain NFT game known as Plant vs Undead. So if you really want to learn more about it, I suggest that you should watch this video until the end. Okay guys, so before we begin, please take note that I am not a financial or investment advisor. So this video is only for educational and informative purposes. So I am not paid, sponsored, or endorsing uh, this game. So before you're going to participate in this opportunity, always do your own research. Only invest an amount that you can afford to lose and manage your risk very well. And for more information about Plant vs. Undead, all you have to do is to simply go to their official website at plantvsundead.com and you can see the teaser trailer video right here. So it will open the YouTube video. So I am going to enlarge it right now in full screen and I'm going to play it. So this is the gameplay teaser. So this reminds me of um, Plants vs. Zombies, you know, the uh, traditional classic one. But right now, we are earning some cryptocurrencies by just playing Plant vs. Undead. And of course, guys, PVU is the ticker symbol of Plant vs. Undead. So you can buy PVU right here on PancakeSwap. So you can also check out their marketplace, their farm, and of course, their beta test application. So it's available on both Windows and Android. And I will be showing it to you later on. And if you want to stay updated with the latest stuff that is going on in Plant vs. Undead, you just simply follow their official social media channels right here, such as Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, Medium, and Reddit. So if we scroll down right here, so these are the game assets, okay? So here are the seeds. And also you could see the in-game overview of Plant vs. Undead. And also you can see the plant synergy. Plant's position is important. It provides synergy. For example, three adjacent fire plants give ignite to the plant's attack. Five of them give explosion. The same goes for other elements. Players can move plants in the middle of a round to create new synergy. And of course you can see right here for the PVU token utility. So... You can see the in-game currency. PVU could be used in the marketplace for purchasing seeds and plants and has a social feature as well. So we could send PVU tokens in the chats with friends, exchange NFT assets, and it is a play-to-earn concept where all game modes reward real value even with free-to-play plants. And you can also see the tokenomics right here for Plant vs. Undead and the use of funds as well. And of course, you can contact them at hello at plantvsundead.com. So before we go to the dashboard, let's check the price of PVU token right here on CoinGecko. So as of this time in recording this video, so it's around 714.23 Philippine Peso. So PVU is on the Binance Smart Chain, guys, okay? In order for you to get started, you need to have at least 5 PVU and up to 10 PVU. So if we compute 5 PVU, so it costs around 3,571.15. As for the 10 PVU, it costs around 7,142.3 as of this time in recording this video. And take note, peeps, no multiple accounts allowed. Okay, so you need to have only one wallet to register right here on Plant vs. Undead. You don't need more than one wallet for this, okay? That is their rules, all right? And also, you can see the movement of their chart, okay, from 24 hours to 7 days and so on all right now let's go to the dashboard peeps so you can see right here the recently listed and the recently sold for the plant the mother tree and the lands all right and also you can see the statistics and for the marketplace so let's check it out by the way peeps in order for you to access plant versus undead you need to have a metamask wallet and it should be on the binance smart chain network okay so you can see the prices of these plants all right 
worth in PVU. Okay, so we could sort them out, such as Mother Tree, and of course the lands. Okay, and also we could just an option right here, and also we could filter, such as the type, the rarity, and the ID. And peeps, let's go to the farm. So once again, guys, be sure to have at least a minimum of five PVU to get started in your journey with Plant vs Undead. So I already have five PVU right now. So in a few seconds, so we could begin. Because guys, when we farm, it's by batches, all right? So I belong on group one. So I'll show everything to you right here as I play Plant vs Undead for the first time. Okay, so here we are, guys, all right? Now I have five PVU right here, okay? The first thing we need to do is to buy LE. You can see the statistics right here. PVU to farm, seeds to farm, PVU and seed that I farmed. Okay, so to get started, we need to have some LE. So we need to convert PVU to LE. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna click right here, guys, okay? And then I'm going to switch right here. All right, so 5 PVU is equals to 350 LE. So I click confirm. And then my MetaMask will open. So this is the notification. Okay, so I pay the gas fee worth in BNB. And let's wait for the confirmation. So once again, my MetaMask pops up. So I have to pay the gas fee once again. I click confirm and then we have to wait once again for the transaction to be completed. So transaction is processing guys. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So we have 350 LE. All right. Now, what do we need to do? Okay. So the next step guys is that we need to have some tools such as this one. All right. In order for us to do that, the next step is to go to the shop. Okay, you can see right here the tools in the sunflower. So we need to buy the following. Small pot, water, scarecrow, and the sunflower sapling. So first, I'm going to buy sunflower sapling. It costs around 100 LE and I click confirm. So it's a success. Okay. And for the tools, we need to have a small pot so that costs around 50 LA so I click confirm another success the next one is water so it costs 50 LE so I click confirm and last but not the least is what we call the scarecrow okay so I'm going to click on this one click confirm okay so now we have all the tools and the sunflower that we needed okay it's time for us to plan. So I still have 130 LE balance. Okay. So you can see all of the stats right here. We have one sapling, one small pot, a bucket of water, and a scarecrow. So I'm going to go right here, guys. All right. So I already have one plot. And for the sunflower, to verify, I already have this one. The sunflower sapling. And also we could filter something right here. All right. So first, we have to plant. So I am going to select this one. So this is my selected land. And for the sunflower, I will be selecting this one. Congratulations, you've successfully created a farm. Take care of your farms carefully. And also, um, you can check right here, guys. All right. So this is where my plot is located. So if we go to my farm right now. So I have to add path to start farming. And then I will be using it. Okay, so there we go. You can see right here, guys. Don't forget to water your plants every day. So I'm going to use water. So it says right here, guys, for the details. You need small pot to start farming. Don't forget to water your plants every day. And also you can see the capacity. So I don't have any plants uh, to remove. As for the scarecrow, guys, of course, um, if I click use... So it says no crow to apply yet. Okay, so um, please bear with me because I'm still a newbie. I'm just uh, showing you around how we farm right here on Plant vs. Undead. If we check right here on my account. So you can see right here, guys, I have no more PVU because I have converted 
them to AE. Okay, so um, uh, you can see right here my plants, my land, my mother tree, and of course so we could claim seeds. So currently it's farming. And what about the new offering? Let's check it out. Unfortunately, guys, um, the new offering is already sold out for the efficient and the landlord. So you can see right here, 21 seeds plus 1 land. And for the landlord, 88 seeds plus 3 lands. So it says right here, if all lands are sold, this bundle will be unavailable. So guys, I've already downloaded the beta test version of Land vs. Undead. So it's available for Windows and Android. So it says right here, this version is made for testing purpose only. In-game tokens are not real. Multiplayer is not available yet. So I've already downloaded the Android version as APK file. And I have installed it on my Bluestacks Android emulator. So I am going to show it to you a bit. All right. Okay, so um, we are here right now on the Bluestacks Android emulator right here on my desktop. Okay, so I have already installed the APK file of Dant vs. Undead. So I'm going to click it right now. And let's see what happens. So it's made with Unity. Okay, so this is the title, Plant vs. Undead. Okay, would you look at that, guys? Okay, um, so these are um, the plants, all right? And also you can see the stats. You can see the mother tree. So the mother tree, you can see the stats right here, the attack speed, the range, the attack direction. And of course, for the skill one, release a deadly lavar wave, killing all undeads in nearest square, can only use one time each wave. And for the aura, 20% damage to all fire plants, okay? And also, um, you can check other uh, mother trees right here, okay? They have different stats. But for now, um, let's try to um, play. And also, you can see the plants right here, guys, all right? So let's say I'm going to click this one. You can know more about the info of this plant. So you can see its attack, okay, the range, everything. The element is far, attack direction is top, and the type is single, okay? So what about this one? Another info. Same thing, fire, all right? And the skill wave starts, create a firing damage, something like that, okay? So um, you can see also the inventory right here, but it's coming soon. And as for this one right here, it's also coming soon. And for the settings, guys, um, we could enable or disable the music. So there are two game modes, by the way, the survival and the arena. But um, let's try the survival. Okay, so right here. All right, I deploy plant. So um, yeah, it's reminds me of a plant versus zombies, you know? There we go. This is how we play. I don't have enough energy for now. There we go. So another wave. Still no energy yet. Okay. Okay, so I could uh, transfer a plant right here. Okay. That's good. The zombie turtles, huh? We should protect um, the mother tree, okay? Nice. Okay. So I could transfer it right here. Um, yeah. Okay. Do we have um, some energy? Not yet? Come on. Boom. Nice. Okay. Another wave. So during this time, of course, we can change the position of these plants. Would you look at that?
Nice. Nice. One can do this. Okay, um, for the next wave, I think this one is not available. Oh, finally, we could deploy another one. Hmm. Oh my god, this one is fast. Not enough energy, man. So this is the health, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, I could transfer this guy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay, I have summoned another plant. Nice! <laughs> Just in time. Oh my god. That means game over. Once the mother tree's health is um, goes down to zero, um, it's game over. So um, the wave completed five, undead killed thirty-two, and the one that I've earned three point eight. So for now, guys, right here on the beta version, um, arena is not yet available. Okay. So at least I have shared to you guys on how to play plant versus undead when their official app is going to be live and running where we could earn some in-game tokens but for now we are still on the beta version so um we cannot earn yet for now so this is just for testing purposes so yeah i'm gonna stop here for now guys okay so um maybe later on i will be um uploading another video of mine about the farming progress of my sunflower sapling for the first time right here on that versus undead so once again guys if you want to try plant versus undead all you have to do is to simply go to their official website at plant versus undead.com so i have to be honest with you peeps um this game looks really promising to me so i'm really 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 excited about the future of plant versus undead guys but once again always do your own research only invest an amount that you can afford to lose and manage your risk very well and of course peeps this is not a financial or investment advice because cryptocurrencies and day to earn blockchain games have substantial risk okay so proceed with caution so guys, I have a question for you. What do you honestly think about that versus undead? Do let me know your honest thoughts, reactions, or opinions by just leaving down your comments right here on the video. At least I have shared to you about that versus undead. I hope that you've learned something from me in this video. Thank you all for watching, by the way. Kindly don't hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your crypto, blockchain, DeFi, NFT, and blockchain gamers out there. And I would like to invite you all to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified about my latest videos regarding cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology, decentralized finance, and and blockchain games and you can follow my social media channels right here or in my youtube description okay guys so from my freaking home studio this is jeff ak nomad fury and see you all on my next video